The question that keeps me motivated most is where did Earth and other planets get their water from? Did that water arrive very early as the planet was forming? Or did it come from later additions by a process called late accretion? My name is James Day. I'm a geologist and geochemist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, UC San Diego. It may not affect us as human beings on a daily basis, but how do planets form and why do we have the clement conditions we have on our planet today that we can live in? And that's really the, the central question of, of what I, my research is about. We have several field programs. So on the Earth, we're interested in the study of primarily volcanic rocks because they will tell us about the interior of the Earth and hence where water comes from, ultimately. And in the planets, we're interested in the Moon, so we're working on Apollo mission samples, as well as meteorites from Mars and asteroids. The tools that I use range from microscopes to mass spectrometry. And because we're studying rocks from other planets, we have to be extremely careful not to contaminate them with material from our own planet. And to do this, then, we use a clean lab. One of the wonderful things about Scripps is we're right on the beach where we have some amazing geology. And so you don't need to go very far to teach people about these wonderful rocks. The oceans, the atmosphere, and the solid earth are connected, which is part of the reason that Scripps is a great place to do this work. And in order to understand any one aspect of it, you need to understand all the others. 